Yeah, an opportunity to look back, I'm suggesting over the last week, but feel free to use a day if you prefer that or longer. It's totally up to you and, and ignore my prompts if they're um, not helpful. And also just to let you know the new people that we record this section. So feel free to turn your videos off. It's basically just going to be my face and I'll share a screen um, so you won't be very visible on it at all anyway, but it goes on our YouTube channel um, for people to see who missed it. Um, yeah, so we're going to be um, exploring this this uh, Christ and, and what it is that we mean by Christ. Um, I don't know whether uh, you've come across Richard Raw. I imagine many of you will, a Franciscan. And he has this, I mean, he says it so many times, it's kind of irritating, but it's also it's true, uh, which is that Christ uh, is not Jesus's last name, um, but Christ is more a sort of state of being, a way of being, a, um, yeah, something, something more um, expansive, I suppose. And he has a couple of um, descriptions, some of, some of which I, I found sort of helpful. So he says, uh, maybe Christ is more like the transcendent within of everything in the universe. Or a name for the immense spaciousness of all true love. Maybe it refers to an infinite horizon that pulls us from within and pulls us forward. Maybe it is another name for everything in its fullness um, and that somehow Jesus stepped into this uh, way of being um, but that this way of being this Christ is also present and alive and active and doing stuff here and now um, in and through and with humanity and the world uh, the non-human world as well um, and for Saint Ignatius uh, so this is a an Ignatian um, offering this this imagine uh, for him Christ's presence was sort of recognizable. There were there were certain markers and characteristics uh, that could let you know, ah, this might be something of um, something of Christ's action or Christ's presence. Um, uh, things like the fruits of the spirit, so peace, patience, kindness, self-control, gentleness, um, an increase in faith, hope, and love, uh, a sense of um, feeling beloved, uh, feeling in in connection with whatever it is we mean by God and with other people. Um, a whole series of, of sort of characteristics or traits. Um, but one thing that struck me uh, a while ago is, is a quote that says that one of the things that Christ does is he calls out the beauty in people, or she calls out the beauty in people. So I thought that we might spend a little bit of time um, going, looking back over the week and noticing uh, where has uh, my experience included something of that feeling myself, my, my most beautiful, my most expansive, my most loving, um, fullest self kind of drawn a little more out of me or um, brought a little bit more to the fore? Where have I been uh, noticed myself able to inhabit um, that a little bit more? Uh, yeah, there's a, I'm going to share screen actually, there's a couple of poets um, who I like who uh, articulate this both of which um, I think are Jesuits. So Jared Manley Hopkins, um, and he says this, has this phrase, for Christ plays in 10,000 places, uh, arguably many more than 10,000 places, but lovely in limbs and lovely in eyes, not his. And I watched a human documentary, um, a documentary called Human, similar to us looking at each other's faces, which was just a series of talking heads. And there's a sense in which Christ um, comes to us through, through all of these in, in the richness and variety and unexpectedness um, of, of this diverse human community that we are part of. And indeed, uh, doesn't necessarily need to be human. Um, this is from a, a Celtic rune of hospitality, which is longer, but this is a little snippet of it. And it says, and the lark said in her song, often, often, often goes the Christ in the stranger's guise. Often, often, often goes the Christ in the stranger's guise. And who's to say that the stranger might not be a turkey tail mushroom, which I think is the picture that you can see in front of you, which is a sort of uh, edible and medicinal mushroom. Or indeed a fox that turns up in a field or a, a weather pattern or a, an encounter with um, a tree that you're planting. I mean, myriad examples. Um, but so as we're as we're going through this uh, 
process of remembering and paying attention, kind of be, be open to the surprising ways in which um, this Christ might uh, show Christ's self to you um, and, and uh, point to you where, where that Christ might have been meeting you in the last week uh, in the reality as it is which as we are all <laughs> far too aware is complicated and um, yeah messy so to begin I'm going to leave the the pictures up on the screen if you like something to look at feel free to um, but if you're able and willing I'd probably recommend that you close your eyes um, or also picking a point somewhere else to focus on kind of settling settling into a, a position that's comfortable, supported, maybe moving your body around a little bit until she feels comfortable and supported. And maybe you can take your attention to Notice the points of contact with your body and the floor. It might be through your feet, it, you might be cross-legged. Um, feeling the, the points of contact with the floor. And noticing the sensations there on the soles of your feet or the sides of your legs. And then maybe moving up to notice the contact between you and the seat. Uh, that you are sitting in and feeling the sort of weight of gravity holding you there, supporting you. And as you're tuning into your body, are you noticing that there are any areas of kind of tension or stiffness, maybe even soreness that need a bit of TLC? You might be able to breathe into them or you might even want to um, give them a little, uh, little massage, um, possibly stretching a bit. Movements that feel kind and caring to your physical self here this evening. Almost a, a gesture of appreciation for your embodied self turning up here. And then just taking a moment to notice how are you this evening? And welcoming whatever that reality is, how you're feeling, how your day's been. But just naming something a bit for yourself. How are you this evening?
and then taking your attention to God and just seeing what comes in response to this question. But notice how is God uh, present with you just now? And then given how you are and in the presence of your God, what is it that you want at the moment? Maybe for this next half an hour or so, maybe for uh, more generally in your life, what do you want and ask for that? And it might also be useful to ask in something of your own words uh, for this um, living, active Christ who uh, dwells in many guises to um, be a part of your remembering, to help you to notice. So to begin, I'd just like you to get back in touch with the past week, the kind of details, the practical details of what was going on. What was your schedule? Who were the people? What's been happening over this last week for you? And you don't need to remember everything, just trusting whatever comes to mind.
And as you're noticing the, the things that have happened, maybe also noticing the experience of it, the emotion around it, how have you been feeling? And just sort of noticing, not uh, judging or categorizing, just noticing. And then having sort of got back in touch a little bit with the, the outline of the week or whatever period of time you're choosing to do. I wonder whether you could take a little bit of time uh, to allow one moment, one memory, one experience to come to mind where you felt something of this uh, inner beauty in you called forth felt yourself um, drawn into a more expansive version of yourself, a, a more um, loving version of yourself, which, which enlarged uh, you somehow, which connected you to something more expansive. It might be a person, a creature, a plant. It might just be a, a, an experience, a workshop you went to, anything at all. Something that called out this true self, this beautiful, expansive, full you. And I'm just going to leave a bit of quiet to see if something emerges. And it might be that actually there are various things coming to mind. I'm just picking one of them for now.
once you've got a, a memory or an experience of some sort. Kind of tuning into the detail of that. What exactly was going on? How were you feeling emotionally, bodily, or in some other way? Kind of invite you to almost well, step back into that experience here and now, kind of putting it on again and noticing what does it do to you. And in what way was this encounter uh, calling out your beauty, calling out this more expansive you? And as you're tuning back into this experience again, what are you discovering about the Christ? How is Christ present or at work in this experience with you? And how do you feel about this Christ?
Is there anything that you would like to say? Anything that's stirring in you that you would like to express? Is there anything that this Christ is wanting to express or communicate to you? Maybe switching the lens a little bit. If you look back over the week again, have there been moments where you have been the one to call out the beauty in another? Where you have been facilitating someone's growth and expansiveness? Again, it might be a person or it might be that you were deeply appreciative of a, a beautiful vista and that your paying attention actually made a difference to the vista.
maybe taking a moment to, to relish and give thanks for these moments that you've noticed. And they also might not have been, you know, all peaches and cream. They might have been more complicated. And then as you look forward from today, bearing in mind what you've been noticing, what is it that you desire going into the next seven days or so? And again, just ask for that. Ignatius would say that when we uh, notice the action of Christ, then the invitation is to collaborate with it, to foster whatever it is that seems to um, be doing that. And then in your own time, drawing this uh, reflection to a close and bringing yourself as and when you're ready back into this room with this group of people, maybe flicking on your camera um, so that we know when you are.